Mark down and then mark down again. I mean, it was a TSV and we all thought that was going to be the lowest price, like $64. It's now the price of a t-shirt. So I know people that have literally bought multiples. So we'll feature this in a little bit too. Hey, I wanted to show you this though, because when we talk about um, footwear and accessories finishing off the spring summer look, um, this is from a brand called Fiorelli. This is called their Flynn Satchel. First, let me take you through um, the colors and the choices because normally this is a $105 bag, but now in our final quantities, it is about almost close to half that. All right, so this is our snake print, 320 to go around. It's a shoulder bag style. Look at the amazing, but no, it's functional. It just has the snap. You don't have to deal with like a bracket and a buckle. Um, then we have what might be my favorite out of all three is the Savannah print. Fewer than 100 to go around. You guys look at that. The most beautiful monarch butterflies, giant tropical hibiscus, like like just snapdragon florals, so pretty. And then, you know, obviously one of the things that I think is so beautiful about a great black bag is when that great black bag looks so incredibly posh that now you're looking at the, the material, you're looking at the hardware and you're just kind of ooing and aahing. So we have 350 to go around. Fewer than 50 to go around in the black. I'm going to take you inside so you can see. Um, I do want to also say we have a couple of this, the lemon mix. I honestly don't think, I mean, that's not where I would go. I think this and even the black are insane. It just, the black, they all look so expensive. But, okay, so let's talk about the snake print um, or just the bag itself. So the bag starts its life out by being kind of that shoulder bag that almost is giving me slight, just slight uh, Birkin bag vibes, okay? That shape, it's more of an east-west than it is a north-south, but it has a really nice bottom or seat. So you can pack a lot in this. And of course that reinforced bottom is means it's not gonna get all weird and slouchy. It's gonna keep its gorgeous shape. but. To keep a shape, sometimes bags are stiff, and that I don't enjoy feeling next to my body. This is really, really supple. By the way, Lemon Mix just sold out. Um, so I'm in snake print. This is gonna be your Savannah. Savannah is going to be the next to go around. 50-50 remain. Look at that incredible butterfly. I mean, and it's just when you see in the black, the texture that has been given, um, to the bag. I mean, it does, as my producer says, it looks so expensive. Anyway, back to the inside. There's a slip pocket on the back. So that's going to be just killer for even your most giant phones. You could even fit a mini iPad in there. Then around the front, right? This is meant to look like high-end hardware, but it's not an annoying buckle that you have to thread or twist. It's just a mag snap. Then you have this whole front accordion pocket, see that? Whole front accordion pocket. Again, mini iPad, um, like your sunglasses, the things that can tend to be kind of thick and bulky because it's got that accordion so it actually grows. Inside the bag, I'll tell you about this in a second, hold on. Inside the bag, first of all, liner that's light is really key. Um, I'll, I'll actually tell you about it right now because you're seeing it. The bag is not just a shoulder bag. With the crossbody strap, it's a crossbody bag. On the inside, you have two slip pockets. You also have a full zippered pocket. Um, the bag is really lightweight. But here, like this to me is such a great look. Um, Savannah, amazing. That black is dynamite. It, it, it just looks incredibly expensive, almost French inspired two dozen in the black um savannah is the one that has that kind of beautiful uh bubble pebble ivory backdrop and then explosion of tropical florals that almost look hand painted on there we have four dozen or 40 for 40 of the savannah 
butterflies, just a true vision in spring. Um, incredibly lightweight, but just really soft and supple. Very, very, very limited. And then mine that I'm holding, which goes amazing with this Barefoot Dreams t-shirt price poncho coming up, um, is the snake print. We have fewer than 300. You have all of these taupes and tans, which are pretty, but then you have like these corals and these burgundies that almost look like Cabernets. Um, all right, so we're almost out of bags, so I guess we're just gonna keep it moving. Um, I do wanna say this is coming up. Jeans are coming up. Spencos are coming up. Also, look at this cute little number. From a very trendy kind of indie brand called Bishop & Young, can you stand the adorableness of this sleeve? Like, just full-on ruffle. Um, okay, so there's that. Plus, Jason Wu is bringing stripes to the show. And then we have a crazy savings dealorama for you on Barefoot Dreams t-shirts if you've always wanted to own their, like, quintessential signature slub knit. We're also going to have a little bit of a 